Hey Noel, how are you? Hope you're doing well. See, this one is light green. I thought these leaves needed a little bit, a little bit of light. I may not work on the ones I already have done, but it might. Let's see. Yeah. Pretty good. How are you doing, Noel? Did you have a nice week? You're still awake? Um, yeah. I've been getting better sleep, so. Um. Well, I should say more sleep. Not necessarily better, but more is better. I don't know what that was. It is a good thing. It's a very good thing. Okay, I kind of like how this is brightening up brightening up these leaves. So I'm going to color a little bit and then I uh, guess the last 30 minutes um, I will um, pick another series of books to show what I've finished in it. I did Let's see, I did Kirby. Do you remember what the other one was? Kirby and Mythographic? I should probably put it in the title so that I can see the title of it and uh, remember. I know it was definitely Kirby. I think this is light green. Unless you want to add white to it, which I don't know what that would do. Let's see. Anything exciting happen this week where you are? That's a little better. Let's see what would happen if I did add white. Layering pencils are, hang on, so different. That think well how will this work and oh it's it's just gonna go right on top 
It's not going to blend down into anything. I mean, not like a wax pencil. I kind of like that. You know, I still haven't found my group squares. It really is like they just got up and walked away. The only thing I can think of is that I let my sister borrow them, but she hasn't said anything like, oh, here's your pencils. There is one more place they might be, but I think I would have seen it because it's right there in the middle of the living room. Not right in the middle, but it's it's where I sit when we watch TV. I think I would have noticed. The other place they could be I just thought it could be in the camper because I think I took those last time we went camping and I hadn't used them since. So it's quite possible they're in the camper. That's the only other logical place it would be. Oh boy, look at everybody. <laughs> hey Connie, uh, Kenny, sorry, Callie, Don. How are you? I was so busy coloring and talking about where my stuff was. <laughs> I just said, wait a minute, people are actually in the chat. And all my lurkers. Hmm. Still needs to be lightened up. Oh, do, 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 do. Yep, I think they're in the camper because that would be the only other logical place. Crazy that it's been that long since I used them. Okay. I'm going to try um, Polly's, Polly's, Prismacolor White. Now that makes it look kind of dulls, it dulls the green. At least on that one spot. Yeah, this brightens it up a little more, I think. I'll have to redo that. Um, po um, Posca. All is well. Hope you feel most more rested. Yes, um, I've been getting more sleep. I wasn't feeling well yesterday. Hmm. Just fibro stuff. I think I'll wait to add it to there. Hmm.
just experimenting how these colors work together. If I put a poly right on top of that white Prismacolor. Will she ever get this page finished? Maybe. Polly's just take longer. Well, I think I'll just leave that and uh, move on. I'm pretty much done with the clock. I just needed to... Where's my other eraser? Is... Yeah, I got it. Got some brown on this. I may not be able to get it off, but I'll do my best. Yes, yes, I've finished my coffee. Actually, let's see, I have a couple of sips left. Mm. More than a couple of sips. Gotta take a picture of my puppy real quick. Can't. Now what I need to do is find the picture of him when we got him laying in there and see how much smaller. He was two pounds and now he's 10 pounds. So I don't think he'll, he's gonna get any bigger. I'm not sure about the middle part. I might just leave it brownish. This is white Prisma. So, how was your week? What did you do? Just the same old something new. Hey, that kind of rhymes. Did you start any new projects? Coloring projects? I might do a little more on that. I'm not sure. Mm, this is earth green yellowish. Thanks, Don. He is a cutie pie. Cutie patootie is kind of what I call him. Cutie patootie. This is chromium green op opaque. Not sure this is the color I want, but we'll give it a try. Hmm. This is olive green yellowish. I'm just throwing all kinds of stuff down, down on this. Let's 
see what sticks. any good sticks <laughs> but it's a leaf it can be any green So nice to be able to leave my camera where it is and the microphone plugged in and and not have to move it around all the time and make people sick We did anything special this week, just the same, nothing new, um, I think next week, whatever the last weekend in April, we'll go camping. It might be the last camp. of this season before the summer right before the summer we don't camp in the summer because it's just too hot the only thing we would do in the summer is if we went to a relative's house for July 4th then we would take her camper and Sleep, sleep in that. As far as camping goes, it would be. We've t we've camped in June before, and we're just dripping sweat all the time. It's so humid, and when you. Um, you're, you're nice and cool inside the camper and then you come out and you just instantly need a shower it's just terrible and when you're in a forest which is what we are most of the time when we go camping then it's um then it's just so humid you can't you can't even stand it So we don't go camping in the summer. Usually we don't go in September either because in Texas that's summer also, even though even though the season technically would be fall. It's still hot. It's awful. Your coffee's ready. Awesome. Let's see, I missed a lot. I'm finished up limited color palette page okay not happy with your choices yeah limited color is challenging unless you pick colors that when blended to each other they produce a different color wait but then can you do that can you take four pencils and do something with them not just their own color but blending them with the other ones to get more colors or is that cheating <laughs> yeah that's always frozen oh that's right you don't like coffee i 
didn't like coffee until about fall 2021 where I drink some uh, a little bit every day. Um, let's see. Folgers, yes. My, my parents drink Folgers and what is some other co major coffee besides Folgers? I mean, I think that's all they got <clears throat> at the time. And they had a drip coffee maker. Um, now, they also had, I think, call it a percolator. I don't remember them having one of those, but I know my my grandparents and my great grandmother probably had that. But I distinctly remember my parents having a drip coffee maker. It was called Mr. Coffee. They still make those. They're probably a little, you know, more updated, fancy now, but. Maxwell House, you're right. Good to the last drop. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, you don't think it's cheating? I remember my family vacation text so hot and these girls glower. <clears throat> yeah, it depends on where you are as to the amount of mosquitoes and the amount of rain we get in a, in the spring, but. There's this point of the night or the evening, and it's like an hour, two hours, where the mosquitoes are right there, and then, then it drops off. So you don't, wouldn't get too many when it was dark. It's like that dusk, dusk time. I guess that's what it is, dusk. And that's when it would be mosquito, mosquito time. Maxwell House. I'm pretty sure that they did Folgers. I'm not sure they would even remember. Now, my mother-in-law, she would drink instant. Which, I don't know, doesn't sound right to me. <laughs> it's like, is it any good instant? I keep messing around with these leaves, but I'm trying to, there's so many of them. What else can I color today besides leaves? I can color the town. These are right here. Okay, so these little. Now, are those grapes? Berries? What kind of berries? Are they blueberries, blackberries, ras? Well, they're not raspberries. Um. Uh, they would either be blueberries or grapes or I don't think they're hollies because none of these look like holly leaves. So what, what do y'all think that is? Oh, do you? Yeah. You're right about that. I think they still say Good to the last drop. I think they still have that as their slogan. I wonder what the oldest slogan is that still is used. Hmm. Oh, I just dropped that.
<laughs> I, I've never tried instant coffee, so I couldn't give an opinion on that. I use pods in the Keurig so I can see when they're running out. I do have a bunch of decaf that I probably need to drink up. I used to have one cup of regular and then a cup of decaf every morning. And just in the last two months, I guess, probably, I stopped doing that. I just drink one cup of regular. This is um, gray, warm gray six. Just trying to darken the darks, you know? Darken the darks. Yeah, I don't know. I guess that she, my mother-in-law didn't mind that being instant. She was fine with instant. She did like different flavors of coffee, or she would try them. But she just used instant because, I don't know, it was just easier. She didn't have to have an additional thing in her kitchen. There, um, my parents-in-law were missionaries, and it's possible where they were in Mexico, they had a limited number of places to put a coffee maker. I really don't know. Maybe she really liked it better. Of course, if you if you go, uh, they used to call it deputation. Now it's partner partnership, something. Mm. I need to water. <clears throat> when they went on those, I guess she didn't want to bother anybody to plug in a coffee maker, so she had instant, and that way she could have her coffee whenever she wanted it. Although. It, the, she wouldn't have the bar on microwave, <laughs> so she could heat up the water. Ninja Duel, and it broke down three times. Her place could. Oh, really? Three days. So your your Ninja Duel broke down, and you got a Keurig. And let's see, I use pods too, but for the Nespresso. Your cure lasted three days. You really, you really liked your ninja for the few days you had it. Yeah. I'm messing with the green again. Okay, so these, these things now, if. It's going to be a plethora of green and brown. The background, let's see, we've got these birds. Oh, I'm not sure. And the eagle up here. It looks like an eagle. I don't know. It's a, an eagle with a long beak? Or is it a crow? I really don't know what it is. We've got the lion here. I think the lion is supposed to be one of those hide and seek objects because this is oh, oh. don't drop that. Okay. This is one of those hide and seek things. Darn it, keep dropping that. Okay. 
Okay, so there's there's a key and an object for the next page. Oh, look at that. How did I not ever notice that? There's a lion there. Now let's see where the, over here's the clock somewhere. There's the clock. And then over here. Oh, wrong one. Castle my dear. I don't see a castle. More deer. Interesting. Anyway, maybe I knew that and I forgot because it's been so long since I thought about it. Um yeah, so I'll go ahead and call it the lion, but these right here. If I do the background in some kind of bluish color. I don't know. I could just make them reddish, maybe close to purpley color. Oop, wrong. Wrong set of pencils. Get those pop prisoners out of here. Oh, hello, beautiful colors. Thanks for coming in. months is the special hotter yes always let my coffee cool down let me see the astronaut page oh okay this one was I think it was yeah um, my colorful country life I watched her video. It might be uh, Chris Ching, but I I think this kind of looks more like Karen on Colorful Country Life. So I just followed. Now I did add some sparkle. This part maybe I can't see it that well. Yeah, a little bit. It's um, metallic silver. Did I add something? Oh yeah, I added a little bit of gold-ish to the cloud color. A little bit of greenish. I added some, this is probably, Probably the sparkle, sparkle pin on the gold. It looks like gold is there. If you can see that, no, maybe here. Hmm. Looks like I put a little bit on the planets. Oh, and this is like a pinkish color. So I just added that one wherever I could. Added those things. Let's get back to our picture. Let's get back to our picture. Oh, she she does so much more on that page than Karen does. I mean, the amount of layers. And I couldn't follow her very well. Maybe it's, oh gosh, there's so much brown on here. Because I didn't have my little plastic thing this last time. It just went right over. There. 
Now, when I watch either Chris Ching or Karen, I slow the video down to probably a half speed and even lower sometimes. And um, that way, that's my own pace, you know. I just, I don't like having to pause constantly, which is what I would do before I realized, oh, I could actually slow down the speed. And that's what I did. Water is so yummy. Okay. What did I say I was going to do? Some purplish color. purple red I kind of like this magenta for some reason but I need it to have a lighter color too I guess fuchsia matter yeah I like pink matter and magenta there if I was going there's not is there oh, okay I suppose I could do that. I think maybe I'll just stick with um, pink matter and magenta. Thanks. Yeah, I don't know. It must have been a year and a half before I figured out. Maybe it was longer than that. <laughs> From when I started to color to when I figured out, um, figured out which... Uh, which buttons to push, click on. What is this? No. Uh, could I even tell you what it is now? Sorry about the... There we go. Magenta and... I don't want it too pink, you know, but let's see what these look like. I'm satisfied with that. <laughs> Let's go with a lighter color first. Maybe I should start at Leslie Needs a New Camera Fund. Just go ahead and do this all in this color. And then 
So these could be red grapes. I like that. It's only a little tiny spot, but you know, I'm going to do a good job on it. Watching from work, okay, awesome. I'm gonna get a little darker here. Whoa. Sometimes my right hand just does what it wants. It just does what it wants. Let's throw in. Let's do this first. This is the poly white. Probably what I'll do is just Posca some little dots on those rather than doing white. We could maybe pull this color into the buildings. Probably what I do is put all the of the colors from the page into the picture of the village. Like these things right here, I don't even know what those are. I mean, I know what those are, but I don't know what you would color them. The ones that I've seen are brown. And I've got a lot of brown in here already, but I guess it doesn't matter doesn't matter let me see green well there's gonna be green in it because there's trees and bushes so those will be in here That's pretty much it on those. It's light green and chromium green opaque. So that's the green. And I would leave this color and a blue. What kind of blue are we going to do? Skyish color. Mm -hmm. I don't know that there's a really light, light blue. Light phthalo blue. 
it's hard to get a warm blue. What is a warm blue? <laughs> Hmm. Some with a little green in it, I guess. White, blue, cold blue. No, don't put that one. I'm kind of leaning toward that one. Because that one just is too, too green. And that would be too purple. So light pale blue it is. Number 50. All right. Um... I think this little flourish thing right here, I'll probably do maybe a gold color. I'm not sure. So there's some colors for the town. Brown would be almost too much unless I made something in the middle brown like this right here sort of seems like a barn barns are sort of well they're red right i don't know i don't know all right make sure that all the brown from the background is done cleaned off it's a mess mm. Mm -mm. Gosh, I missed a whole lot of stuff here. Um, yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, my husband is pretty much a one-person office, too. He's He works from home most days, which is nice. It is really nice. He's done that since April 2020. They said, okay, y'all just stay home and call in, call in, connect through your computer, you know. If they're on call, they don't actually have to go into the office. They just, if it's in the middle of the night, they work on it from home. I think that's kind of what they all wanted them to do or wanted all of them to do was to set up at home for whatever they could do things remotely and so it made it really easy to work from home after that and then it was uh two and a half years they said okay uh you need to start coming in two days a week and so that's what he does Um, it could be, but it would, it would clash with the green and I, I don't want to clash with the green. Oh, well, happy brother pickup. You like how I did the grapes? All I did was, I took two colors. I might actually even go over it again. I really want that sharpened. Yeah, that's better. And that way, I don't know. It just seemed the right thing to do. Make some pop out more. See, I don't know if you can see the difference between those two. There's that. There's that. Yeah. 
something about being more in depth. More in depth, is that the word I'm looking for? Yeah, I kind of like that. Hey, Emily, thanks for coming in. I think I will start to work on. I'm trying to prep the background by erasing as much green and brown as I can off of it. And, um,. You know, something I didn't do was change, change the focus. I need to turn that off. I'm not sure if I need to turn it off. That's what I'm going to do. And we'll zoom in a little more. You can sort of see what I'm doing. I might try to put clouds in there. So the way, one way you can put clouds in is to just not color in that spot. Color around it like you're sculpting. I'm not terribly good at it, but... Don't they call that negative, negative drawing? I'm not sure. You could always go in with an eraser too. paint on it with white. Now down this way there wouldn't be so much of that. It would be more like like that thin thin clouds. And then as you get, get higher then the clouds would be fluffier. I don't know. Bigger, I guess, is the one I'm looking for. I wonder if I can make I could make the birds a golden color which would be kind of neat if I had some this could be gold this could be gold maybe some of the bird I'm not sure something like that
something like that. I think I learned that from Karen and from a drawing instructor. Some things I just don't think about until I'm actually working on it. And I'll suddenly remember something. Oh yeah, I guess that happens to everybody. Now do I want all this to be blue? Or do I want... Um, maybe a third of this to be a different color or do we want to figure out well I've already messed up there if I was going to do that I could draw in I could draw in right here um, a metal pole or a wooden pole and so it's it's just being held up by the pole and then it's in the in the sky I just thought of that wow. now where's a plain old regular pencil well that's plain and regular but uh I'm not sure I want to use that. Mm -hmm. I guess I can. That straight. What do I have that's straight? Strangely, uh, strangely, uh, I don't have. This looks good. I don't have a ruler unless it's in one of these drawers. If I use something, I try to keep it in here, add it to there, add it to the little bank of drawers I have. Well, what I was trying to think of is. That is um, Kennedy. Kennedy, how are you? What's up, girlfriend? I need something thinner. I guess I could just eyeball it. We'll just go right through. Kennedy is my second cousin, my cousin's daughter, and she is an artist. Okay, so then I can make this metal or wood and the rest of the background can be the sky I was working on. <laughs> Kennedy, what you been up to? 
Are, are you having a day off of school? Will you come visit me this summer and stay stay a week? For a few days. I'm not sure, but I, if possible, if if Steve has um, got off for more than one day, depends on when July 4th is, it would be fun to come out and spend July 4th out there. What was I going to erase? <laughs> I think it was... Oh, it was... No, I already did that. That's fine. I don't remember what I was going to erase. Yes, 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 yes. You just, uh, you and your parents pick the days, and I can meet you halfway between here and your place. And I, yes, I did. I picked pencil to do the background. Wow, I just did that. <laughs> I think, you know, why didn't I pick something easier to do the background in it? Instead of, uh, instead of um, using pencil. Although, since I'm only going lightly, it, it actually is going faster. Am I off the camera? Okay, sorry about that. Hey, Brittany. Kennedy, what have you been up to this week? Anybody can answer, but... It is 10.30. Time's going so slow. It's so slow. Sometimes time seems to be going slowly and sometimes it's zooming, zooming down the day. Zooming down the day. <laughs> Sounds funny. Mm -hmm. It's like 
do a lot from here. Sorry, I'm off the camera again. I'm trying to think about. Where this would fade, fade in here. So from there, I would fade in. So I wouldn't do um, do the blue all the way down. And then you've got to be even lighter. See if I can do this with a shaky hand. I guess I could do. Let's use Prisma. I could just color this part. Prisma white, and then come down with the blue. What is this called? Light yellow blue. Not sure that worked the way I wanted it to. That's okay. Anyway, the idea was to try to fade it down. I guess we can try. Well, let's go ahead and try the Prisma White again. Something like that. Something like that, I don't know. Gymnastics, oh, very nice. Can you do a backflip yet? <laughs> no pressure. Yeah, so it'll be darker. Darker in here, which will help make that lighter. You see, you can already see the difference. And then we'll get lighter as we go down. Ah, didn't mean to color that part blue. I guess it won't matter. Mm, trying to think. I'm not sure I want it to be metal. Let's see if I can. 
fade this out a little bit. So I can still see where the line is, but not it's not standing out at me. I think I wanted to do to the brown color. How many browns did I get out? Oh, that's uh, that's the gray. Walnut, burnt umber, burnt sienna, ochre. Not too much ochre. The Mono Zero Eraser, I would do a commercial for them. I love this. The only thing I don't like is that when you're done with part of it, or when it's done, it kind of leaves, peels off. It's fine. It's still worth, worth getting. They don't cost an arm and a leg either. I would look for like two package deal with maybe some refills rather than just the one just the one um you don't call it a pin eraser i guess is what i'm saying what i'll probably do with that part is Since it's underneath the clock, I'm going to use black on top of it, which may or may not be a good thing. Who knows? Then I keep color this lightly. And I want it to have streaks in it because it's wood. So I'm going to color that way. How's mom and dad and brother? They doing all right, Kennedy? brown. This is a uh, burnt sienna.
harder time. Nice and refreshing. It gets dry in here sometimes. This is a uh, brown ochre. I don't always know what to say. My dad is still, oh, I'll get sick, but he's better. Oh, awesome. He's still ugly. Oh, Kennedy. I've known your dad all his life and not one second was he ever ugly. Except maybe the way he would act or something. He, he always seemed to be a good, good boy though. Rarely got into trouble. He's a very handsome guy. This is looking more like fur than <laughs> than wood, but it's fine. You know, I just remembered I have a, oh gosh, if I don't do this now, I will forget. account has been blocked? Why? <sighs> OK. 
Okay. That's not good. That's not good. Okay. Shoot. Okay. I think I did most of it, so. <clears throat> Sorry about that. <clears throat> Something I had to, I had to do because otherwise I'd forget. <clears throat> <laughs> that was a quick Was I using this one too? Yep, 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 I know. <laughs> I know, that's what I was just trying to do. Well, I'm not sure this is looking out like wood, but I'm doing the best I can. I'll work more on it. But that's that's what I was trying to do here is to make this look like it's standing up in the in the sky so that I could do the sky all over the page. Hey Marcy Colors, how are you? Doing all right? We're just experimenting with different colors together and different, uh, yeah, see now that's too dark right there. I don't think it worked with the white on it. it seemed to just sort of it just it just blends differently. All right. I'm using the side of the pencil so that I can go faster, although uh, to be careful to go in circles instead of lines. That's hard to do. I love you too. I guess that's another way to fade it out is just to erase some. The other method didn't work so well. OK, 
standard east 10 now. Yeah. She 10 or 11. Oh my goodness. going on with that spot. It doesn't want to erase. There's something about the paper, I guess. So I'll just keep adding more blue here. written are you cleaning your toes you clean your toes it's like he's trying to clip his nails are you trying to cut your nails with your teeth maybe work on your front front paws I can't work on my front paws He likes to have his feet clean. Hmm, I want to test something else. This is the full blender. the grizz eye. Okay, that's better. Let's try the Prisma. Prisma Blender on that. I know some of y'all don't like the Prisma Blender, but I do. It does what I want. Anyway, so it's 30 minutes before, and pretty much I'm going to make clouds throughout the blue and uh, fade it out about in this area, finish up the wooden pole that that's on, 
and uh, the green is going to be the same throughout. The buildings will be, well, yeah. I suppose I should could have made that blue. Anyway, the the build. Gosh, I've got the hiccups now. Pull your ears. Pull your ears. Um, the buildings will be these. The light phthalo blue. Pink matter and magenta. And I might do some brown in there. It's hot. Which is fine because... me stay awake. All right, so I did the Kirby books, which actually do have the third one. Alien Worlds. I haven't done a lot in this. Let me zoom out so you can see, you can see the whole page. Oh gosh! I can't stop it could be. Pull my ears. We'll see if it works. Ugh, it's not working. So you can see all the pages that I wanted to work on. It's been ages since I worked in here. I did. All right, I'm gonna raise my camera up because this is a really, it's a two page picture. All right, I did this one for the Kirby tribute thing. I, I really love this picture. My favorite part is this area around the edge of the planet. So more like that. Well, I think each blender works differently for whatever you're wanting. My, I like for my blending result to be that it darkens it slightly and it um, blends out the, the streaks if I don't want them in there. And it sort of moves the pigment around a little bit. And for me, the Prismacolor pen, um, does that the best. But if I just want it to, to be shiny, you know, I'm wanting to get a shine on it. For me, it would be the full blender. The Grizzeye works well with the Grizzeye pencils because they are a combo of oil and uh, oil and wax and their blender works great on that um, so it it's your personal preference what what your what your end goal is so I'm not going to tell you that that is better blender than any other blender I'm not going to say that because You've got to try it yourself to find out which one you like best. There are some people that do not like the Prisma Blender at all. The only other picture I did in here. <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> I can't get the hiccups to go away. Let's see if I can drink some water real fast.
just like everybody's got a different way of getting rid of hiccups. Um, this one, I pretty much did on my own. I didn't look at anybody's stuff. I think what I did for these little nebulae things is I did look at somebody's uh, way to do that. And I can't remember who that was, but anyway. So I like this one. Probably I ought to do this page since they're sort of connected. And then I've got to remember what I used here. I think I did use Prismacolors on that, so that would be easy to do. Yeah, I didn't uh, do much else in that one. That's books, Kirby books. I did do mythographic last time. Show you next. I was so excited to get small victories and I haven't worked in it. This is a good book, I think, to take camping because it's small. But, I mean, I can do other stuff in here. Okay, um, I think I'll do if I can get to them all. It's hard to decide if I want to do. Kanokaligusa or Melpani Chetsipan. <laughs> I kind of just cough out the rest of her name because I'm lazy about it. <laughs> That's funny. It's <laughs> good. Yeah, y'all watch watch my channel because I'm so so organized. We don't wish the other guy. Here he is. All right. This is the Japanese Chinese version. I'm still working on that. <laughs> Let's see. Start from the back here. It's easier. There's a Christmassy one I did. Prisma colors don't work well in this paper. Um, what did I use? Oh, I skipped one. Okay. Black Widows, strangely enough, work well on here, and Polychromos. And I think Artesa. You can use Prisma on here you just need to put down a layer of something else on the top I thought I did it oh it's over here so this this one I started uh, using Prisma because color Elena coloring with Elena she did Prisma so she did a combo of Prisma and and Polly's and she w in there she was saying she's struggling with the prismas but i went ahead and did it anyway and i think it turned out turned out great i i added some sparkle to let's see the sparkle sparkle to the 
butterfly. Very oh, hard to get the sparkle to show sometimes. You can see that. And there's some in the. Oh, that's good. You can see it pretty well there. The flowers. And I think I was practicing on this page with uh, brute squares to see how they would work. I really ought to keep notes on this stuff. Uh, and then that Christmassy one. Hmm. I think I did all this with Black Widows. I enjoyed doing this page a lot, really did. If I could do it again, which I have it in here, I probably will use Prismas and the animals would pretty much be the same color and the, the globe, but the books, I think I might make them, um, one color. Anyway, that's either here or there. Here's the shoe. This is the first one I did, and I actually followed. This is the first one that I ever followed Connie on. And so I did that with, uh, what did she use? Polly's on there. I can't remember which one she used on yours. Um... I kind of did a little bit of shadow here, like it was sort of sitting on something, but I didn't do anything with the background, obviously. Oh, that's it on that. Okay, this is the same one, but it's the... I see, there's a bigger version. Well, I know I did one. <laughs> I love how this came out. Yeah, I want to say it's probably Prismas. Anyway, I like this one so much. I like the, um, the dark at the bottom, you know, when it fades up as the sun's shining down through the water and I made this very light here the the blue is lighter here in the middle so you can kind of see some sun um, probably I could have put more streaks to indicate sun here and maybe made the sides darker really ought to keep track of what I use on here. It almost seems like... Oh, I know what I did. So I took Posca. After it dried, I colored over it the color I wanted. So that's why it looks... Well, you can't see it, but I can. Looks like that. Anyhow, I like that one a lot. And I put uh, tape around the edges so it would make a nice frame is that really the only one i did in here i know i did another one maybe that's a different book yeah it's a different book oh I haven't been reading this, the things. Um, pencils, paper, does it look good? Durant blender. I have not tried the Durant blender. And this is the other Karen Dash blender. I'm thinking, I don't know, I haven't had success with it. Maybe it, it depends on the book, depends on the color, I don't know. Maybe this is the kind of thing where it works better with its own, like the Grizz Eye. Um, 
I don't like my pages to have those white spots. Yes, yes, I want to push them away. You like the dirt, duck and the turtle? I do too. Thank you. Okay, now we'll do this direction. I'm not sure I've done a lot in this page, in this book. Oh, <laughs> do you remember that? It's another clock. I haven't finished. Oh no. <laughs> what is it in clocks and me not finishing? Okay, there's the bunny. I love the bunny. I put, um, is that sparkle pin? On the duck's uh, faces. The bunny is being very patient, but is on the verge of... I did put the clouds in. And... I, were they in? Did I put those in? No, they were already in there. I think I might have added this one. And I, I used paint. Um, I did use colored pencil in there, but I also used Posca. I don't think a page can get away without using Posca on it. Oh, this is a long story. This is not me, but it's okay. Um, that's the front page. And this got marked up. Probably what I do should do is keep something over that. Uh, the last one is probably my favorite of her books. Although I do like Symphony. I like them all, really. Yeah, this is the one I was looking for before, and I couldn't remember what book it was in. Well, I should get them back on the shelf. This one was, just took so long, and it was coloring with Elena. I did do a few things differently in here than she did, but um, for the most part, I followed everything. Um, the colors of the, of the, fr the fruit here, Yeah, some of the, the fruit I did, fruit and vegetables, I did a different color. And it's quite possible I did some of the scarves different. I would just, you just have to go see what she did. But um, I really love this page. I like, I love how it turned out. It's got so many things in it. You've got food and leaves fur, um, feathers, clothing, baskets, crates, so you got all kinds of wood stuff going on, and even balloons and flowers. You just, there's so much going on in here. Here's a metal table. Um, it was really fun to do. And this is also an Elena one, but I did do some of the the vegetables and fruit differently than she did just because I thought that doesn't make sense because it should be that but this were different maybe and this one these were different so anyway I enjoyed that one a lot also oh I made this bunny's cape different they were supposed to both be red I mean that's what she made them in her in her um, video 
but I wanted this one to be blue, so sort of, not that boys exclusively wear blue or girls exclusively wear red, it's just one of, one of each, <laughs> one of each gender, a boy and a girl. Oh, the peas. All right, so that was a different color she did. I remember that for sure. I've got a little sparkly there on the lemons or oranges. I guess those are. Anyway, that was fun. What's next? Uh, this is a little more recent. Um, I chose... What's the word I'm looking for? Light colors, bright, kind of faded in a way. I don't know. I just did it the way I did it. I like it. And then I just went around the edge with some color so it's contained with the sand underneath. Mm, if I could add any more to it, I would probably get darker in some areas so that's something I might I might actually fix I'm I usually don't like going back over something here's one that's got an abundance of dark in it <laughs> I chose colors from another page is that what I did I can't remember now I really ought to keep notes. Yeah, I would, I would probably lighten up some of the areas. I enjoyed this one too. The, um, the leaf. It wasn't Elena picture. She had the leaf different color than, and I wanted it to stand out. So that's what I did there. Yes, yes, I think I remember her saying that, that she likes, likes that. This one, I found a reference photo, not photo, drawing, coloring, and that gave me some ideas on what to do here on this one. I think I enjoy just about all my pages, but. But sometimes I'll look at them and I go, oh, why did I do that? Or why didn't I do that? I think everybody goes through that kind of thing. Let's see what else. This is the first page that I didn't, did in here. And I think this was a Christian picture. Could be wrong. <laughs> but I think that that was. Yeah. Yeah. So I followed, well, in her videos, she'll do one or two of something and then whoosh, the rest will suddenly pop in. And then you've, you've really got to figure out, okay, how do I translate that to this picture, this object? So that was, that was different. I really love doing the birds. That was, had a great time doing the birds. The sky looks a little bit like it's about to rain, but maybe that's okay. It is one of my favorites. Oh, the seashells? Yeah, yeah, I can see that being a cross stitch. I've done different cross stitches over time and it does look like it would be a good cross stitch, doesn't it? Thank you, Kenny. Yep. I think that was it. Unless I have any more. Those are the only Christian books. What other books does she have? Other than the, um, there's no way I'm going to get that in there, so I'll just have to put it down here. What 
of time do we have? Okay. So pretty much time for me to go. But thank y'all for coming and um, for being patient with me on whatever. Uh, most most likely it was the camera kept freezing. Maybe eventually I'll get a new camera. Right now that's the one I have to deal with. And maybe I might get the Durant Blender. I don't know. I'll have to see what it costs. Just so that I can test out more blenders. Um, it depends on what you primarily use to color. If you want to, oh, it does, mm, I'm not sure why it's all plugged in. I like both of the, the types of pages of paper because the Black Widows won't work on the American version, but they work, on the, for me, they work on the other one, on the Japanese version. Um, Polly's work well on the Japanese, but not so much. And again, it's just all uh, subjective. Um, if you can, get both and see what pencils work for you on the paper. I haven't tried watercolor on the other one, but I can see what she means about um, it's a little more absorbent. So, yeah, it's just kind of, if you want to use just Prismas, then get the American version. Just depends on what you like. All right, I think I'll go. Y'all have a great weekend, and I don't know if I'll continue this page or if I'll try another one. We'll see. Maybe I'll do something with them. Um, I need to make myself use these, so remind me. Maybe I'll leave it right here. This is what you're going to use next time on something. I don't know what. So I'll see y'all later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> You're welcome. My dogs are like, oh, are you going to be done now? Yes. Let's see if I can put in my heart. As I always put my heart in at the end. I think I forgot last time.